Hello, I'm Dr. Jerry LaSalle, a principal investigator at RJ Lee Group. RJ Lee Group provides material and analytical consulting services for a wide variety of industries, including the metals, mining, minerals, construction, and consumer products industries. We serve our clients with chemical analysis, materials characterization, failure analysis, and even expert witness services for litigation. Today, I would like to describe how surface analysis at RJ Lee can support the plating and passivation industry. It can do this by identifying surface defects such as staining, blisters, and other defects which could cause unwanted production problems. Additionally, it can also determine unwanted material migration uh, from areas where plating should not occur. This could cause problems in solder performance and subsequent rejects for your customer. XPS can also quantify the quality of surface treatments such as passivation and subsequently document um, this passivation quality to meet customer specifications. So what is surface analysis? Surface analysis uses analytical techniques to probe the top atomic layers of a surface. Those surface layer control many of a material's desired properties. For example, corrosion, adhesion, bonding, and electroplating quality. One of the most important surface analysis techniques is called X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, often abbreviated XPS. This technique probes the very top surface layer of a material which is only 30 to 100 atomic layers thick. It is very sensitive to minor amounts of the elements present on that surface. Most importantly, it also identifies the chemical state of those elements and is able to distinguish, for example, whether an atom of chromium on the surface is in its metallic state or is part of a chromium oxide molecule. This is important because it allows the quality of stainless steel passivation to be assessed and documented in keeping with industry specifications. For example, it can provide analysis for Semitech 9012043B, a standard for the semiconductor processing equipment industry. Common microscopic analyses such as optical metallography or scanning electron microscopy are important productive tools for material analysis. However, despite those techniques being microscopic probes, they still probe deep into the sample compared to XPS. They thus cannot resolve the very thin atomic skin surface layer shown in the accompanying chart. Again, these top layers define passivation, oxidation, wettability, solderability, and corrosion among many, many other properties. XPS achieves surface sensitivity by shining a monochromatic X-ray beam onto the surface of a sample in a high vacuum chamber. The X-ray beam causes signature electrons in the element on the top surface to be emitted and collected. These signature electrons have a specific energy spectra or fingerprint depending on the element and its chemical bonding state. This fingerprint of surface atom configuration is then interpreted by computer analyses and the experience of XPS surface scientists to determine the elements and chemical states on the surface of a material. In one example, the protective oxide layer on a stainless steel is very thin approximately 50 atomic layers thick. Again, few techniques can probe and quantify the composition of this thin skin layer. Non-passivated stainless steel surfaces tend to have non-optimized levels of protective chromium oxide in that skin. They have higher iron oxide, which is not protective. The passivation process modifies this native oxide and enriches the chromium and chromium oxide on the very top surface layers. As a result of this higher chromium oxide level, 
there is an improved corrosion resistance, which is required for many high-end applications. Again, one example being the semiconductor processing industry. The spectra in this slide can be processed by the XVS computer software to quantify these ratios of chrome, chrome oxide, iron, and iron oxides to determine whether they meet ASTM or semiconductor equipment processing specifications. In this example, the ratio of total chrome to iron and chromium oxide to iron oxide exceed the 1.5 and 2.0 ratios required for this ASTM documented process. XPS can also probe the layers below the thin surface skin via a process called ion sputtering. Sputtering uses energetic argon ions to remove a few atomic layers at a time while continually sampling the surface spectra. In this way, the composition as a function of depth can be probed. In this example, sputtering shows that the iron continually increases and consequently the percentage of chromium decreases in the layers below the passivated surface skin. To summarize, an understanding of a material's thin surface layer is very beneficial in identifying contaminants and defects which can lead to reduced scrap and defects. XPS is a technique sensitive to the surface chemistry and can include identification of both the element's state and the amount located on the surface. XPS can document the quality of surface treatments, such as passivation or surface purity, to meet demanding industry and customer specification and documentation requirements. If you'd like more information on surface science analysis, XPS, or other material or analytical analysis, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for your attention.